don't think I've ever said this publicly, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it now. Um, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't be making it harder to vote. We should be making it easier to vote. And um, what, what I haven't said, I've said that publicly before. Um, so, so my Justice Department is going to be vigorous in terms of trying to vote, uh, force voting rights. I gave a, s a speech down at Selma uh, at the 50th anniversary that was incredibly moving uh, for me and my daughters. And, and the notion that this day and age we would be deliberately trying to restrict the franchise makes no sense. And I th at the state and local levels, that's, you can push back against that and make sure that we're expanding the franchise, not, not restricting it. Um, in Australia and some other countries, there's mandatory voting. It, it, would be, it would be transformative if everybody voted. That would counteract money more than anything. If, if everybody voted, then it would completely change the political map in this country. Because the people who tend not to vote are young, they're lower income, they're skewed more heavily towards immigrant groups and minority groups, uh, and you know, they're often the folks who are they're scratching and climbing to get into the middle class and they're working hard. And there's a reason why uh, some folks try to keep them away from the polls. We should want to get them into the polls. So, so that may end up being a better strategy uh, in the short term.